In this video, I finally got a hold of the rarest and most powerful item inside of King Legacy. And I mean it when I say most powerful. Not only does this armor give you the most health out of any armor in the game, literally three times as powerful as the second best, but it also has the highest damage reduction at almost 50%. So you're just not dying with this armor on. And that is the Gustation armor, which you probably already knew that by the thumbnail I'm realizing. But still, this thing took me an incredible amount of time to do so if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started because this thing literally takes forever to get i'm honestly still surprised i even have it let alone that i upgraded it too i think i'm finally doing it i'm finally going to get the crab armor after a very long time trying to get it or well i'm gonna trade for it at least which is gonna be the, this is the next best thing oh there it is so I'm doing a bit of a bulky trade here, which is going to take me a while to get back. But I'm going to be giving all three of my Phoenix Tears, which makes me kind of sad, all nine of my Hydra Tails, and then 33 of my Sea King Fit, which is a total of 75 value, which is 25 lower than the market value of the item itself. So I'm going to go ahead and also give 2,000 Gunpowder, which I, you know, have unlimited of, and then 10,000 Carrots, which I can't even add. So I'm guessing I'll do that on the after trade. I'll, I'm going to do an honest trade i could totally just run off without giving them the carrots but they're just carrots i'm not gonna scam them for it but here we go finally getting myself some crustacean armor look at that oh my lord look at those stats 35 percent damage reduction and 5,000 health that is really high and then we need to send another trade there you go we'll go we'll go ahead and give them 10,000 carrots so give them 75 value worth of the items themselves and then i essentially gave him another five fins worth of carrot and then another five fins that worth. was an 85 fin deal for a crustacean armor that was that was pretty good but this video is not even close to being over because i want to upgrade this thing i want to upgrade it look at that oh god such an amazing piece of armor so ugly though <laughs> It's so ugly. I love it. But I do want to upgrade this item, which is going to take me a bit. And I'm going to show you why. And if you know what you need for this item, you're going to know why also. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> yet again. It's so ugly. I love it. Okay. Um, upgrade accessory. Look at the crafting requirements. I couldn't even afford this thing before I did the trade. I definitely can't afford it now. But to upgrade this armor, which gives us an extra 10% damage reduction and also 10,000 more health. So we would be super tanky. I need to get myself 10 Hydra Tails, 10,000 piles of bones, which I can get those. That, that's not bad. I'll, I'll grind for that. 100 Shark Canines, which I can also grind for. I don't even know what drops those. So I got to figure that out also. And then 30 Seeking Fins. I already have four, so I need to get 26 more of those. We have to do a lot of trading if we want to get all those items. Specifically, the Seeking Fins I see taking a very, very long time. But look at that. We got them, finally. Yet again, it's so ugly. I think we need to get an avatar for this thing. We, like, we need a specific avatar. Let me see if I can get one together. Um... <laughs> This works. It's better than what I had. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh my god. Oh, no, sorry. Oh my crab. Even my attacks are the same color. I just need to make sure no one tries to cook me. I think that's why it shows the fire powers. So what I'm going to start off with doing, because it's already super late for me, so I'm going to stop playing for now. I'm going to head over to Skull Island in my VIP server. And I should hopefully, I was doing this with my Tomo rings. So hopefully I can do it with this. But I should be able to one-shot these skeletons with that attack. Do they die? They get really really close they kind of need a second they kind of need a second attack can i afk farm it with this with 30 percent more damage let's see do you die you don't so it's the same either way i'm just tankier with this one let me see if there's anywhere else to grind skeleton it looks like it's just this island what about the boss can i do this to it no you do not take hardly any damage from that and you have and you have special attacks oh my god i'm taking no damage though look at that i took no damage because of the damage reduction i mean to put it in perspective also if i were to upgrade the inferno cloak it would still be 15% less damage reduction than the unupgraded crab armor. The only thing that beats it when upgraded is technically the Blackbeard hat, which is 40% damage reduction and then 15% more health if I were to upgrade it. But this one is better after the fact. So I just want to see what's the price difference. Like, what's Blackbeard? Actually, not that bad. This is a really cheap hat to upgrade. If you want to get a good hat, get this one. But this one is better. So we're going for this one. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and AFK this. Because all I got to do is set up a tiny task and 
record my character doing this. So this attack, then this one. Keep him away, then this one. That works. Now the ultimate test, does it work long term? I will let you know after long term happened. Okay, so like none of the macros I did for the pile of bones worked. They all ended up with me dying. I did a whole bunch after the last one and none of them worked. Long enough to like really mean anything for actual AFKing. So I sat there and manually and ran the tiny task while like watching anime so I could fix it whenever I started taking damage. And I got a decent amount of bones and then I just AFK to get overnight for another like 2000 gunpowder. So I have a decent amount of gunpowder with a lot of iron and a lot of carrot. I'm gonna start trading these three things right here for seeking fins and hider tails. Hopefully we can get lucky and get some. And I found the only really one that's consistent, you know, until it isn't, but it's the most consistent out of all of them is to do this attack and then immediately send that one. And as you can see, it killed them all. You do have to be wearing the Tomo rings though. The Rip Crab armor, I want to use it, but it doesn't give damage upgrades. So I can't really use it in this scenario. Okay, here's the first trade we're doing. And this is going to take all of my gunpowder immediately. 2,500 gunpowder for five seeking fins, which is market value. 500 each. There we go. That is now nine of 30. I have a feeling I'm going to have to trade seeking fins for Hydra Tails at some point because these are much harder to get. Okay, here we go. Here's another trade. 17,000 carrots and 30 thief rags for one hydra tail and six seeking fins. And there we go. Awesome. We are much closer. It's hard to find deals for carrots right now because carrots have lost a lot of their trade power just due to everyone having them. I think that's partially my fault for the carrot mafia. I think I tanked the value of carrots by existing. I will happily take that honor because that sounds awesome. But hey, there's a Sea King. Let's go kill it. Maybe we get a drop because I now have 15 of the 30. And then, you know, one of the 10. And there we go. Uh, just some candy. Let's see if the chest has any luck. Dang it, nothing. I mean, I'll happily take all the candy. But yes, we're halfway through the Sea Kings and I need so many more tails. And there we go. Finally hit 10,000 bones. So we're done with that. So the next thing we need to get is we need to get a hundred of these shark canines. I only have one and I need to see what actually drops them. I don't even know what drops them. Hopefully it's something easy because a hundred is a lot. Okay, it's all in C1. And we have to head over to the fish land, which kind of makes sense. And we have to kill... It says seasoned fish, man. Is that the only one that can drop it? Let me verify. I wonder if I could one shot these fish men. I mean, we should be able to. Oh yeah, we can definitely one shot these. Yeah, that gave a fresh fish. Those are also quite valuable. Let me see if I, let me kill a bunch and see if I can get a shark canine. I might be able to. I'm going to guess not. Well, what I'm going to do in order to farm this guy, I'm going to go like behind the building. Does this hit? Yeah, that doesn't hit. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, this is the <laughs> this is the Fishman Karate Dealer. I had no idea this was here. Okay, well, what if I do this? Is that gonna kill it? It did not. This thing is tanky. I and mean, I could farm it pretty easily. It would just be so much better if I can get the Fishman to drop it because there's four of them. Okay, what if I do it like this with Quake Fruit? I mean, I do a lot of damage. I if I time it better. Yes, yeah, so if I do this one, then I wait for it to hit. Then this, this, and this. And I'm trapped in a corner, so it's not like I can get pushed away. Okay, I got a better system now. I swapped out my V for the Unawakened version because for some reason the Unawakened version hits twice while the Awakened one only hits once, but it is faster. So this one's just better. So as you can see, once it hits, it actually kills all the side enemies then I can kill the boss with these two abilities. That should work. Let's see if we can get any of the shark teeth from this enemy. Hopefully we can. We'll also be farming a ton of fish, which has value, surprisingly. I'm guessing for the second version of Fishman Karate, I guess. Hey, I finally got one. That took a very long time. This is going to be very slow, but the AFK works, so this will be worth it. And I'll end up getting a lot of fish because I'm already at 300, almost 400 now. And there we go. Finally got enough. Well, I'm, I'm a little overkill, but I have enough shark canines now. So the only thing I'm missing, let me teleport home. Oh, also we have 10,000 fresh fish, which would be excellent to get sea king fins. But after looking the past like 24 hours, which is how long it took for me to get all these, these have value, but no one's looking for them at all. Gunpowder is still the most valuable thing. So I'm gonna have to AFK for that if I want to continue. But we have both the easing materials. We have half of the seeking fins. We just need nine more hydra tails and 15 more seeking fins. Which if I were just to trade gunpowder, I would need 21,000 gunpowder. This is going to take so long. Well, Woody, look at that. It's a hydra. Let's, let's kill it. 
Oh, wait, I can also use my crustacean armor. I forgot about that. I'm not fully dressed up for it, but this should work out. Yeah, we still deal a ton of damage without the extra damage from the Tomo rings. Look at that. That's perfect. I also took very little damage despite just sitting in the attack of the boss. I can't wait for this to be upgraded. This is gonna be so nice. There we go. Got it. Ah, okay, I need to back off for a second. Oh, it killed me. Ow. And there we go. Yeah, crustacean armor, incredibly helpful. Hydras just deal so much damage, though, either way. Dang it. No tail. Okay, here's another big trade. 10,000 carrots for three Seeking Fin. Brilliant. But now we are chilling with 18 Seeking Fins. And I have a bunch of gunpowder now because I was AFK gunpowder for the past like 24 hours. So I can trade for about like nine, almost 10 more if I do market value for all this. 10,000 carrots for a Hydra Tail and a Seeking Fin. It's about four valleys. I'm mean, like a decent amount, not too bad. I mean, I can get unlimited carrots. I just really need these. And another trade for 6,000 carrots for two Seeking Fins. Definitely overpaying, but I can get carrots and I very hard to find trades for carrots. So I will have happily overpay. So now we are at 21. We need nine more. And then we need a bunch of Hydras. Okay, here's another small trade. 400 gunpowder for a Seeking Fin. Cool. So now our total is up to 22. Okay, here's another trade. A bulk trade for most of my gunpowder for seven Seeking Fins. So now we are incredibly close on that front. Slight overpay because it's bulk, but 1.5 thousand gunpowder left. I told you the hide shells are going to be a pain. Need so many of those. And here's another small trade. 400 gunpowder, which is market for one seeking fin. So now we have the 30. Now we just need way too many hydra tails. My lord. <laughs> Eight more to be exact. I'm still going to be trading for seeking fins because it's nice to have them. And I might be able to do some conversion trades with people where I trade three of these for one of these. So at this point, I'm going to be looking out for those too because I, I really need tails. Okay, here we go. Here is another bulk trade. 600 gunpowder and 6,000 of carrots and also scrap. First time ever trading this for one hydra tail and three seeking fins. Let's go. Finally, another hydra tail. We got three. We need seven more. This is going to take forever, but a hydra just spawns. Let's go kill it. We had like 20 minutes for this hydra, which isn't bad considering it normally takes like four hours. <laughs> there we go. Easy. We also got a nice chest for it too, which didn't give me what I needed, but I'm guessing the gems are nice. And there we go. Another seeking fin. Ooh, a phoenix fruit. I can't even collect it. Well, here's another small trade. I don't need these, but here's two flame fruits for a seeking fin. Flame fruits still hold quite a bit of value, surprisingly. Oh my god. I'm about to do the best trade in this video. So good that I turned into a noob avatar for some reason. I traded this guy earlier, but he's willing to trade me seven hydra tails for 21 seeking fins, which is even value. But I don't have to look for Hydra Tails anymore. I can just trade for Seeking Fins, which is going to make my life so much easier. Thank you so much to this guy. Let's go. So now we're only missing 16. So thank you yet again so much to that guy. That is the best trade I've ever done in this game. Like ever. I don't I don't think I can legitimately do a better trade for anything. He, he, he saved me so much time and he literally lost nothing because of it. Cool. 16 more of these to go. Ooh, just got a Seeking Fin from a Seeking. But the next one is a Hydra. So I'm going to chill on this server for an hour to wait for that. I have been server hopping after kills just to get kills more often, but a Hydra is worth waiting for. Okay, a bit of an unusual trade, but 1,900 iron for a Seeking Fin, yay. And also five Samurai Badges and four Sea Wraiths, which are also really nice. I'm going to need those Samurai Badges later. So that is definitely worth the overpay, mainly just because Seeking Fin and these are also just annoying to grind. I'm at 16, 14 more to go. I also now have 3,000 gunpowder from AFK overnight, so hopefully we can get some trades. Okay, a bit of an unusual trade and a slight overpay on my part but i can always get these pretty easily but five light fruits for two seeking fins i mean i'll take it i never use light fruit and i already have it awakened so it's not like i need them in mass but yes that makes 18 we're getting there eventually by luck with hydras this video have been insane here's another one that i'm getting just because i'm trading this guy right here also just saying crustacean armor makes you take no damage it's so nice and you still deal a decent amount without the damage buffs too i'm used to having damage buffs but look at that that is so nice i can't wait to upgrade this i just took the conqueror's hockey twice and it didn't even kill me that is like the most deadly attack out of any of these bosses dang it i got hit by that one too and yes i just got the legendary hydra slayer i've been trying to get that for so long and nothing good dang it 
Well, let me go ahead and trade this guy because I'm, I'm giving this guy a pretty beefy trade, but it's going to be worth it. So for four Seeking Fins, I'm giving him 4,500 iron alongside 1,500 scrap, which is fine. And then we're also going to give him a Dragon Orb because he's going for Cyborg. And this is basically all the items you need except for Seeking Fins and Hider Tail. There's also Lost Rubies, but I don't have any of those anyway. But a very, very good trade. And now we are at a total of 22. We're only eight away. If I can just get a gunpowder trade, I can get the last of them right now. That is awesome. But yes, we actually got the title I've been going for because it's the coolest looking one. Legendary Hydra Slayer. The only ones that don't have is Sea King Nightmare, Bounty Seeker, and Treasure Hunter Elite, which all these aren't that cool. This one's honestly the coolest one because that has the word legendary in it. Okay, here we go. A small trade. Actually, quite big, to be honest. 25 shark canines and 200 fresh fish for two seeking fins, which is my extra shark canines. That's pretty good, considering I think it's like, I think it's 30 for one. Oh, you know, it's 15 for one. So that, that was a pretty good trade then. And I still have 100 shark canines, but now we're 24. Six more to go. And here's a good trade. 2,000 of my gunpowder for four more seeking fins. We are so stupidly close. Like at this point, my goodness. We literally just need to trade for two more or, or manage to get them on my own. But getting them on my own has not been my luck. I, I have not gotten hardly any drop. And I've killed a lot of enemies for it. And here we go. Our final trade. We're done. 1,000 gunpowder for our last two seeking fins. We're at 30 now. Let's go go finally oh my lord that, that actually took years that took 20 years to do my lord at least it feels like it there's also apparently a boss i think it's already dead but i just want to verify real quick yeah it's dead but free loot anyway yeah, some candy awesome oh yeah before i forget there we go we have the crab outfit on let's go ahead and wear the station armor and after like a week or two of trading that's how long this took because my lord does it take a while to actually grind materials in this game i now have upgraded crustacean armor 45 defense and 15,000 health that is actually insane so that means that even without the damage reduction i currently have 65,000 health it also looks no different I kind of wish the great armor had like a different type of shine to it, but that'd be kind of cool. But we have 65,000 health just for having the armor on, but we also have 45% reduced damage. That means somebody would have to deal, if I just do 65 plus 45%, someone would have to do almost 100,000 damage to kill me now. You know, I bet the Electro users could still find a way to do that in one shot, but still, I'm a much more tanky, which means bosses and like raids are gonna be so much easier. Even though I technically don't have much of a point to do them now, because I think I have every single item in the game, like literally every item, except for the Xmas Blade, which is the only unobtainable item that I can not get like you can get everything else but that one item but finally oh my goodness that was definitely worth it anything in the future is going to be incredibly easy and oh my gosh i just realized with the hockey it looks really good too we are definitely stacked now